Carlos goes out of his way to show Drew Sedora some love on receiving an award at Mimosas with Melody. But not a word for the star of his number one reality TV show. Kimmy and Nell both sent her well wishes, acknowledging the event. That would have been the least that he could have done, but he chose not to. And we see you. It's because you want all the smoke with Mel and the Melometers. So let's talk about it. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. I am Sasha Renee. The views expressed on this channel are my thoughts and opinions. Over here, everything said is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. So Carlos puts hearts on a post referring to Drew's award she recently received from Mimosas with Melody. And had the nerve not to acknowledge Mel. I guess he's done pretending, huh? When it first became obvious that he was one of the biggest haters against her, the viewers started to speak out about it, and you tried to deny it. You acted like you were uplifting these women who you are lucky enough to work with and thought you had us fooled. You are one of the main reasons the Melometers exist. A group of women and men who could see right through you because of how you move. Marty played a major part because of how he treated his wife while they were married. But you, you are the worst. There have been a few women who have made accusations against you. In 2015, Sheree said Queen stole her concept for a new show without her knowledge. She claimed that Queen took her idea for the show and sold it without her consent. The deal was that Queen would name Sheree as co-executive producer of the show that was to be called Selling It in the ATL. And he would give her a full-time spot over on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sheree said when she first found out that her season would be reduced to 10 to 12 episodes and that she would only have a part-time role, she was heated. It's alleged that she made the mistake of working with the queen again to present a fake relationship between herself and Marty, which didn't go over well since Law was all over the internet saying, that she was still sitting on Marty's and he was calling her nonstop. Then Candy told us that Queen stole and sold Escape's life rights to TV One. She claims that Queen sold the life story of her group and that he tried to use her mother to get an exclusive interview for the project. That's, now that's a lot of damn nerve. Candy also alleges that Queen cut the women in the group out of the project. He did Melody the same way. He made some small changes to her idea and now calls the show his own. He made some small changes to her, her idea for a show and now calls Love and Marriage Huntsville his own creation. I know it's business, right? I think that he's a self-righteous and entitled slime ball and is as grimy as they come. All three of these women have been able to create successful businesses before working with him. And I think that's why he chose them. He attached himself to them like a leech to drain them. Instead of being grateful for the opportunity he moved like a lion stalking his prey. He just didn't expect them to speak up. And each time you were confronted about what you did, you denied it and said, I didn't know. What changed since then? They say he got fired. 
or demoted. What's T, sis? They all let you go? You were bragging about being the HBIC. And now you say someone else is making all the decisions. Is that why you couldn't bring yourself to congratulate Mel? I know you ain't blaming her. If you did get fired, it's because of all that boo you let happen on your watch. Like when you briefly had the nightcap show on on and let Tisha and Wanda disrespect Miss Van and Mel. Or all the times Marty was allowed to jump up in her face while he was out of control. What if he had hurt her? What would you have said then? I didn't know. I had no idea. When working with Marty, Wanda, Betty, and the Scots wasn't enough, you recruited Dr. Heavenly to join the team because you thought that nothing would be said since you got away with it so many times in the past. But surprise, nigga. We see you and we ain't going nowhere. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you in the next one. All right. Bye.